morning, Kingdom Saints viewers, subscribers. Welcome to my channel. Today's topic is you. Today's topic is you. If you're not saved, if you're not walk, walking in Christ, if you don't know Jesus, what are you waiting for? You know, scripture says, it is appointed once for man to die and then face the judgment. Why would you want to wait until judgment day where many will be running to and fro, hiding in caves, and there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth? You don't want to be one of them. You know why? Because those are the ones who live in contempt of Jesus, who don't know Jesus and didn't want to accept Jesus. But let me tell you something. When you reject Jesus, you reject your salvation. When you reject Jesus, you reject your own life. When you reject Jesus, you reject your freedom because he gives us all of that and then some. You know what I'm saying? Jesus said, I am the way, I am the life, and I am the truth. No one comes to the Father except through me. So whatever God or gods you're worshiping right now, throw them all aside. And when I say gods or God, your car could be your God, your, your house could be your God. Whatever it is that's taking your mind away from Jesus, that's your God. That's who you're worshiping. Scripture says, decide today whom you shall serve. You can't serve two masters, for you will either love the one and hate the other. You can't serve two masters. You can't serve this world. You can't serve the idols and the gods of this world, the material things of this world. You have to serve the master, which is God, the Father. And if you don't know, if you don't know what your sins Are going to bring because all your sins or your sin has consequences there is a price to pay for your sins just like there is a price to pay for your righteousness for your faith everything in this world including your sins has consequences a lot of people believe that once you die, that's it. There's nothing else. Where do you see that in the Bible? The scripture says that Jesus gives you eternal life. And it also says that Satan will give, the lake of fire will give you eternal torment, eternal damnation. That's like being tortured and dying over and over again and you're still alive you're still living let's uh let's talk about Lazarus and the rich man Lazarus and the rich man Lazarus was a beggar Lazarus had nothing but he had Jesus he had the, he had faith he had a lot of faith. Lazarus would ask the rich man for food and 
The rich man would throw the crumbs of his food on the table, off, off of the table on the floor, and the dogs was licking at our last of scabs. That rich man didn't give Lazarus anything, not a, not not anything. Didn't have pity on him. Didn't care for him. Didn't care about him. So they both died, and Lazarus was taken to Abraham's bosom by the angels. In Abraham's bosoms. And the rich man was in eternal torment. And he looked up and he said, Lazarus, Abraham, tell Lazarus, send a drop of water for my tongue, for it is hot down here. Yes, the rich man was in the lake of, no, not the lake of fire because nobody's there yet. But he was in Hades and he was alive and he was feeling the torment. So, my point is, there's eternal life with Jesus but there's eternal damnation. There is no in-between. There's no purgatory. There is no in-between. There's only heaven and hell. So knowing this, knowing these things that I'm just telling you, why walk in darkness after hearing the truth, after knowing what your final destination will be like? whether you accept Jesus or not. We all have a final destination. You can either choose to be with Jesus and live eternally, repent of your sins and receive his blessings, receive joy, receive happiness and have peace of mind like I We have peace of mind, those walking in Christ. We have peace of mind. Nothing worries us anymore. God takes care of everything for us. You know what I'm saying? Or you can choose to live the way you're living now and living in sin and have eternal damnation. You know, Scripture says, Greater is He that is within me. Greater is he that is within me. You can have authority and power over every obstacles and over everything in this world, including the evil one. It won't be able to touch you. You'll be untouchable. But you have to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Repent of your sins and do a 180. Not a 360, a 180, because God said those who return to their sins, it's like a dog licking up his own vomit. So you have to make a decision today. Ask yourself this question. Stand in front of your mirror and ask yourself this question. When Jesus comes, What's going to happen to me? Where will I be? And also ask yourself, do I want eternal life with Christ Jesus and receive joy and peace of mind, happiness? Or do I want to join the over one billion people in this world right now that are going to be going to the lake of fire? You know, because Judgment Day is not, it's not a joke. Jesus ain't playing with us. You know what I'm saying? He's not playing. It is not a joke. It is a real thing. Just like this table in front of me is real. It's here. And see, everything that you have right now in this world, your possessions, your cars, your house, your bank account, the money you have in your pocket, your husband, your wife, 
your kids, including you yourself, your vessel, your life. It's all temporary. These are just temporary things. We are just mere mist in this world. Everything in this world right now, including the world itself, this world that we live in, is temporary. But Jesus is permanent, you heard? Jesus is permanent. And when God's wrath pours down on this world and it's time for Jesus to come, when Jesus comes, he's going to be standing there waiting for you. And if you don't know Jesus, God is going to turn his head away from you. He won't even see you, but he will be pointing to the lake of fire where everybody else will be going. You don't want to be in that line. You do not want to hear Jesus say to you on Judgment Day, Depart from me. I never knew you. You workers of iniquity. And this goes for Christians and sinners. Because a lot of Christians are still going to hell. Well, so-called Christians. Because they're not living the right way. They're not living for Jesus. They're not obeying God the Father. They claim to be Christians, but they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. As far as the kingdom of God is concerned. You know what I'm saying? So, make your decision today. And I'm telling you, we don't have that much time. Life is short right now, people. Life is short. People are just falling off the planet. I mean, people are just dying left and right. You know what I'm saying? Dying in their sins, not regarding or not heeding the words. Because how can they hear the gospel if we don't go out and preach the gospel? How can they believe if they don't see Jesus in us? How can they believe? How can they have faith if we don't go out and preach the gospel and let the Holy Spirit convict them? Mm -hmm. Jesus, God loves us so much and yet that we were still sinners. Jesus died on the cross for us, for you, for me so that we can all be free, free from this world's wickedness and schemes of the evil one, schemes of the devil, because the devil roams around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. He is the greatest liar, the father of lies, and he will mix lies with the truth. So don't believe any of these false doctrines, these false gospels, these false pastors, these false teachers, these false prophets. The prosperity gospel. I think of the prosperity gospel it makes me want to vomit. I just want to throw up every time I even see. I just click, click away, click away, because they are putting Jesus back on the cross and using Jesus as their way to make money. But little do they know, they will be joining Satan in the lake of fire unless they repent. Little do they know that they are headed. But these prosperity gospel and these false preachers, they don't care because they live for the now and they live for the flesh, the lust of the flesh. That's what they live for. They don't care about you, they just want your money. And they'll tell you anything to make you feel good. I call it ear candy. They preach them, help you to feel good gospel. Me and my ministry, we preach the help you to get saved gospel. Okay? That's the gospel you need. Don't forget to subscribe. And 
Thanks for watching.